Hello everybody, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the basics of Adobe Photoshop Elements 10 and Adobe Photoshop CS3. Um, so Adobe F Elements 10 is the latest version of Elements as of the date today. As you can see down here, that's the date. Um, CS3 is not the newest. There is a newer one, which would be here CS5 which I run but for this I'm gonna be giving you guys just a little uh, just tutorial on how to f how everything works in here and uh, so then you guys know where to get everything so let's start here by creating a new file integrate a new file in elements it's basically the same as always you go file new blank um, I set it already to what I want it to be you can make it whatever you want pixels um, you probably want it more pixels per inch it's more of the standard um, so there's on here on the right side over here there's the effects um, so there's just different cool effects here you can add to your pictures um, there's like this cool plastic effect and um, there's like layer styles so you can add a, like a metallic -y look so say I have some text in here Let's just type in hello. It's gonna pull up that size. Doo -doo -doo. Gonna change the color of it because we cannot see it. Okay, so I'm just gonna move that quickly over to here, make it a bit bigger. Okay, so see, you can just kind of drag that onto there. There you actually click apply. Do you want to make this background layer? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay. So as you can see here, it has like a, a weird um, edging there. Um, if you add different bevels to your text to make them look more 3D. Um, yeah, I like playing around with the bevels, especially with my text. It just really makes them look a lot better. Um, so yeah, there's also uh, photo effects, so just different fading effects in here. Um, and there's just all the effects. If you just click on this effects button here, you got all of your effects you have in this Photoshop. Just all these different ones. Layer presets, just like makes the text here look cool. Different things here. See that one I like, it looks pretty cool here. So yeah. Um, moving on now, uh, down here we got your layer palette, and what you can do here is whenever you create a new layer, which you do by clicking down here, um, it just organizes everything for you. Say I want to make this, uh, text here just a bit, like, uh, the change the opacity, which means, uh, making it more invisible to the thing, to the document you're working in. Um, you can create layer masks, um, which I will be teaching you guys about later on. Um, and you can do uh, add an adjustment layer, so I like using hue and saturation quite a bit. Um, and basically what that does is, as you can see here, it started out as just a plain, plain uh, gray image or text. As soon as I hit colorize, it changes it to green. Actually, usually change it to red, but then uh, you can just kind of move it around. Choose a nice blue. You can make it more more bland, or you can have it really pop out. I like the way that looks. It looks pretty cool. And then uh, yeah, then you just click close that tab there. And then uh, another thing you can do here is your project bin. So say you have uh, more than one file open. See. If I want to quickly see, I just made this one. I want to switch back to my other one. I can either click down here, and I can double click, and it'll go over. Are there in this Elements 10? There's an easier way up at the top left here. There's just these little tabs that you can click on. One click. There. So next, I'm going to be showing you guys um, this top here. So 
you have your file, edit, image, enhance, layer, select, filter, view, window, help. So there's just all these different things like filters. You can add a blur to it. And basically what a blur, as you can see, it just kind of, it doesn't really do that much, but unless you have like a nice big image in the background, then it'll blur it out. But um, you can just kind of goof around with this. I'll be teaching you guys more in depth about this kind of stuff later on. Um, so yeah. You can just align them if you want. You can align, uh, center it. I like centering my things. Um, also, you guys can uh, use these tools here on the side. Now there's a whole bunch of them. There's move, you got zoom, you got your hand tool, you got your eyedropper. Your eyedropper is just what you use to pick out, say I want a certain color in there click that and it brings it down into my color palette um, you can also use a marquee tool which selects a certain amount there uh, you got your uh, magnetic lasso tool which if you click and hold or if you right click oh oops I'm just gonna deselect that if you right click it'll also bring it out for you um, there's not a lot of other times you'll be using these. There's just a couple times, but um, you got your magic wand, uh, you got your quick selection tool, you got your text tool, which is very important. You right click that, and it just uh, a whole bunch of drop downs here uh, come in here. So uh, you can fool around with that. Um, you got crop. You can there, there's a drop down to if you right click and. Uh, there's a recompose tool. Um, here we have the cookie cutter tool. We have the straight in tool. We have the red eye removal. So say you got a picture of yourself or somebody you know, and they always somehow get those red eyes. You just click, and then you just quickly click on their eyes. <clears throat> you got your spot healing brush tool. You got your clone stamp tool. You got your eraser tool, which comes in. It comes really handy. Let's see if I want to erase a bit here. Actually, I gotta simplify that. It just goes away. You have your brush tool. You have your smart brush tool. You have a paint can, which is what you use to just paint the background color. Whatever you want, as you can see there. Just gonna paint in here. So yeah, um, <clears throat> excuse me. You also have uh, your gradient tool. Um, you have your custom shape tool. You have your blur tool, and you have your sponge tool. Now, for there is a couple drop-down menus here if you want to change them around. Uh, there's a magic eraser, background eraser. Um, there's different things in here. You just gotta really learn how to use it. These are very handy when you go to the custom shape tool you right click on it you got your rectangle you got different things it gives you um, options to use for your blur, blur tool also is your sharpening tool and your smudge tool your sponge tool is also your dodge and your burn tool um, what else is there I can show you guys if you want to undo something you can always just click back like that if you want to redo it it yeah you can just do that. Um, you can also change your colors by clicking on there and you can move them around. So you want to make it a gray. I'm going to grab my paintbrush, paint the background, get rid of this hue saturation layer because that's what's I'm not changing the color. So as you can see here, I changed the background and all that. Um, you can also change this color here to make it so then you have two different colors you can work with at a time which comes really handy I find um, so yeah those are the basic tools here that you guys will be using um, if you like as I said before there's you really just gotta go in like go under each thing and learn how to use each one and uh, you'll get really good at it as long as you like work at it hard and 
always too good at it. So, um, now we're going to move on to CS3.